Okay, um, top secret. The first is a little bit of an update. Uh, here's our kiddo with the uh, first ever Wi-Fi enabled Python powered baby toy. Um, here is a little clip. This is playing Taylor Swift Calm Down, kind of fitting for a kid, you know, when you're fussy. He's a little calm down. Sometimes. It's a TV. So that was the board, um, and we mentioned that earlier. You could check out uh, our posts about it as well. Uh, we'll probably have it in the store pretty soon. And then we're going to play uh, a couple of videos. One is uh, testing of one of our new products, and the other one is the new um, Arduino that just came out. And then we'll uh, talk about an upcoming thing that Lady Data was just working on. All right, Lady Data, what is this? Here is a new board coming out soon. It's the Neo Rotary 4. It adds four, count them, four rotary encoders with switches uh, with a little coprocessor and Stemic UT. This is the prototype in green. And of course, the final version in gothy Adafruit black. Uh, looking good. And then, of course, um, using my Metro M4 as the programmer. This has a Cortex M0, which does the UPDI programming to program those boards. So. Pop it on here. I like using mounting holes also as alignment pegs um, for uh, the test jig. And uh, it's already programmed it. And then to verify it works, you know, it, it beeps, it lights up this green LED, and it makes the four NeoPixels glow. So I know that this is ready and programmed to go to the Adafruit shop hopefully this week. Data, what is this? We just got one of these new Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi boards. And uh, in addition to some cool LEDs and of course, Wi-Fi via an ESP, there's also a quick port, uh, which is also compatible with our STEM IQT board. Ooh, which means you can plug and play boards. This would be great for IoT because you've got the Wi-Fi, this powerful chip, um, you know, an ARM core inside. And then, you know, you want to add, say, a temperature and humidity sensor, an OLED, uh, you just plug and play it right in, uh, no soldering required. So if I wanted, I could have this upload to Adafruit IO or the Arduino Cloud or AWS um, without any soldering. So I think like we're really getting to a next generation of IoT platforms where um, anyone can get data and upload it to the internet without coding and without soldering. It's a wonderful day here in America. Okay, and then uh, I'll be posting this up later, but this is something you're working on now. Um, yeah, so this is, you know, an ancient, ancient board. This is like from like early 2020, um, that I designed a board for the ICN 6211, which is a, a DSI slash, uh, MIPI, um, one or two lane to, uh, TTL TFT converter chip. And it's, you know, fairly inexpensive, but it was totally unavailable for quite a bit, or it was hard to get. And so I was... Uh, I kind of just didn't want to work on this anymore, so I put it aside. But um, the chip's available again, so you can see, like... This is something else you sent me. This is the commit history where you can see it's like I worked on it mid-2020 and then, yeah. you know, gave up for three years. But uh, there's nothing more fun than spring cleaning on an old board, so I'm going to um, uh, bring this back to life. So this is the dev kit. So we have A, and then once I get it going, I'll probably uh, clean it up and make it a little bit more elegant. All right. That's up secret sweet.